Hey guys, your boy Mesa here, and welcome to episode number one of my West Ham Chroma, guys. Um, this series I wanted to do it for a while back, but I was holding back because I didn't have enough time in the first place. Uh, and I already had the Chroma going on with uh, the whole city one, which I still haven't completed. Uh, which I wanted, what I wanted to do was complete whole city, then move on to West Ham. But because of me not having time and me not being good enough to handle a team, which I'm not gonna say is bad, but me not being able to play world class with that kind of team. It's kind of restricted to me. After the patch, I've kind of played really poor and all that stuff. So I've decided I'm going to move on to West Ham for now. Try and play world class with this team. See how far we get. I'm going to play this series. Even if I do poorly, I'm going to try not play it every single day. However, um, the whole city will be on hold for now. Depending on if we start seeing doing well and that kind of stuff in the series, um, I will start bringing the whole city career mode. Um, slowly but surely it will come soon I, I, I promise you guys that much it will be completed that is for sure I'll at least do one season of whole seat that is guaranteed so anyway so we'll head on here go into the thing press X and just uh, do all this sorting out here and obviously as you go it's gonna be Mr. Maystar I feel like do my, I wanna do my initial hair which is H which is my the first letter of my name um, do England do that guys do tracksuit simple and then obviously world class sterling and we are obviously in the Europa League, that's where West Ham is currently uh, in the stage. Not in the Champions, uh, they're not in the Champions League, but they are in the Europa League. And, and we do have a we do have a decent group, Spartacus. The thing is, I'm not gonna. Oh fuck, I did, did I say I lost it? Because I, I, I'm supposed to press start, not a circle. Okay, there we go. So there we are. Let's press options to confirm it. Okay, there we are. So we're gonna head on here with this team. I'm not going to make too many signs. I'm not, that's the thing. I'm not going to buy too many players this season. I'm going to slowly um, get into maybe January and then see we're going to buy any other stuff. But I'll, I'll try and buy some specific players that I think this team needs. So now we're going to go into our pre-season tournament here. And the thing is, I'm not going to go for the most finals. We have enough finals at the moment, but I'm going to go for the, the one which I seem like we're most likely going to win and do well in some sense because. Um, this, for example, this one here, it's got obviously us, Benfica here, uh, is it Fenerbahce or Beshistax? The, um, the far right, it's, it's one of the Turkish leagues that I know for sure. This Porto there, um, so they have some pretty good teams. This one, the middle one has, uh, I believe it's a Bundesliga team, uh, forgotten who they are. It's Ajax there, AC Milan, and some of the South American teams. And obviously there's some Italian league teams, there's Leon there, Valencia, so it's, this one seems the most difficult, no, it's between these two, these two, the first one and the last one are the most difficult in my opinion, and I feel like the last one is the most difficult, but I'm going to go for this one because I feel like we're most, most likely going to win it if we do go for it, as I'm not going to play it myself, I'm going to sim most of the matches, but I still want to get a result um, which will lead to us at least getting some sort of bonus that are better in the sense of um, sales, as I, as I saw, as you guys have seen, brand, in, uh, was it, brand exposure was high, so that's why I'm keeping that in mind and doing this kind of stuff check out emails quickly here uh champions trophy blah 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 oh, sweet 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 that's, a, that's the team we're going to get the belief okay milan and milan i think will be our most difficult opponent there shirt sales as you guys can see shirt sales a large percent okay so as you guys can see so our brand exposure is 38 million pounds uh which is what we're aiming for which is a quite a, it's a huge huge um amount to earn in a season which is a large amount of a thing and then the premier league is to finish a 20th wait to finish no to finish, for BR, sorry, to finish in a champions cup place or champions league place which i believe is going to be difficult it's top five i believe so if you go into the champions league if i'm wrong don't take my word for it i have not i've forgotten which, how many people go through but i believe it's five um Sign one youth player to the senior team in the same season they were scouted. Play them in 10 matches either as part of the starting 11 or as a sub. Okay. Grow two youth players by at least 10 overall points. Play them in the match since either as part of the starting 11 or as a cool. So the first one seems I asked the chief boards. There's nothing, there's nothing too hard about that. The second one seems a tiny bit because you have to increase the overall by 10 and play them for 10 matches at least. Which is kind of difficult, but we'll try our best to achieve that as well. Okay, the short okay, win the cup, which is the European, I think the European League, Euro League, what? The Euro League, yes, I think that's the, the Europa League, which is what we need to aim for. And uh, within three seasons, increase the club worth 
uh, of your club by 20%. So from that guys, it seems like I have to do this for three seasons as we have to achieve that uh, most likely. I'll be doing it for three seasons, that's decided from now, at least three seasons. I might do more, but the aim is to do at least three seasons. Uh, we that's just basics, everything else is the basics. Nothing there at all. Okay then guys, so messing around with the team, I decided to first learn out some players that I don't need for the time being as I feel like they might as well play somewhere else, I'm not going to use them. So these are the players here, they're all young players, uh, but except for a goalkeeper, he's 23, but here's the thing, I want, I might sell Randolph here to another team as I feel like he's 29 years old and he's only 70, what is it, 70, where'd he go? He is a 74 rating, so he's a silver player. And he's 29 and as you Adrian who is 88 and he's also 29. I feel like we need to get someone better and younger for a team to also be the to be I mean if he's like a 70 rated already and he's like we'll say 20 something, let's say under the age of 22, then I feel like he's pretty good for the, um, to replace Adrian if he does retire in the future and also can be a good backup in the sense. So I might be doing that later on. Um, but here we are, something simple. Oxford, I, here's the thing, Oxford I'm going to put for London. Obviously he's a pretty good player, but because he's got excellent um, uh, prospects on him, most likely if you do not for a year, apparently he comes back better. I believe so, if I'm not wrong. If it's the same at 5-17, or 5-15 and 16, where you learn that player, sometimes they'll come back better than they are um, in some sense. That's what we're going to do. Martinez, the striker who we have, is not, uh, obviously he hasn't got great ratings, but I'm going to learn up for a year. Fletcher, I believe Fletcher is he the one? No, Fletcher's actually pretty good. Which is Rice? No, Rice has got some good stat stats. Um, this guy here, Makassi, uh, Makassi, um, he hasn't really got great stats in my opinion. He's 20 years old, 52 rated, he's really low. I feel like I'm not going to be using him at all, at all, at all. And I feel like he's not, yes, he's 20, 52 rated, really low rating. So we might as well learn him up for a year and then might not renew his contract at all, maybe just let him go. Um, that's what we have to do for a bit. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do for now. I'm not going to buy any players for this win. I'm not going to buy no one at all. What I'm going to do after we go to our first game here with the team that we have. But before that, we're going to train some players, um, try and increase uh, the rating and obviously um, do some good here. So I'm going to train these guys here. Um, most of them have promising like, okay, promising players, that's with you know, that little arrow thing that comes up. Uh, except for Pyre, as um, the midfielder does have a, uh, there is a midfielder who has um, the promising thing there, wingers, whatever you call them, um, does have it, but he's a lonely player. There. I, don't, I don't want to train them because I feel like they're not worth me training them for now. Um, I'm not going to send them out anyway because purely because I don't want to uh, pay that fee. I might as well keep him, use him, and not obviously increase him, but obviously try and use him to ability, my best ability on the pitch, but not off the pitch, if that makes sense. So I'm going to sim these players here well, and see what they're training with. My, my thing is that C and above is pretty good and only two players get it. It is uh, Masuaku and uh, Kale... Is that, is that T? Okay. Kaliri. Kaliri? I don't know. It's Kaliri, Kaliri? I don't know. Kaliri. And uh, Masuaku got C and above. Aya, Lanzini and uh, Bayram did pretty poor. Well, they got D. They weren't far off but still I expect to see high high ratings there in my opinion. So I'm going to play one game here guys, and then end the episode here, as I feel like it is, um, I need to try and, what I'm going to do off the thing, I'm going to try and uh, get a short list of players that I want to buy or learn, and then try and do that, and then uh, maybe in the next couple of episodes we'll be able to, after all the reports come back, if we do have to wait for a scan report, we can then do that. So I'm going to go with this team here, pretty basic, with Zaza from Lanzini, being the cam with Payet and Ayub being our midfielders, right and left midfielders or wingers, um, Kayute and Noble being our centre mids with um, Masuaku and Byron being our full backs with Reed and Collins being our centre backs and Adrian uh, being our goalkeeper but I want to make a change, I don't want to make Collins as a goal, uh, centre back, I want to make uh, Aubameyang there. Oh, Aubameyang, bloody hell, Obona, struggle, there's a bit of struggle there, Obona there and also have uh, Faguli on the bench if they decide to make the change and obviously uh, Obiang is there as well. Obiang might be the... no I'm not, I'm not going to change it now. Um, and let's also bring on Kaliri for... I feel like, no let's leave it at that. We'll do that for later on but that's going to be a team. We're going to head these guys onto the pitch. And fingers crossed, it seems like it's the toughest team that I expect um, to 
face against in this table stages so we're going to sim the match here hopefully we do well here and hopefully we go with a win the three points on the table will help us big time and i hope most of will win the other games okay the game has begun nothing has happened yet and they're reaching the halfway point of the first half still no goes nothing has happened yet near the end of the first half now still no goals the goals are scored the first half has ended and pilot scores just at the end of the first half second half has begun they bring on a player um still nothing nothing's happened not, not much has happened there we bought a player so did they no no we haven't bought no player they bought three of the players we bought carol onto the bridge bought antonio and they equalized the 18th minute making it one all oh, damn it so um first half was pretty dead second half started to liven up a bit um with the changes they made and that kind of stuff but overall uh we might have been a stronger team but we got we gave the goal away in the last minute as well um which is kind of poor let's tweet at the office see what came through uh what was that okay so i offered contracts to players i offered uh, to brownie and to project as i wanted to learn them out but uh, i wanted them to increase their contract but they made tons of good players so um i was going to offer them uh, hopefully they have joined up the loan loan for loan list have they joined in no they have not so we could do that it is so put him out for one year who was it i wanted actually completely forgotten who it was the other player um office it was brownie so it was i loan him out for a year as well so yeah so we I knew I had, wait, what? Brownie Warren? Yeah, he's gone up again. I thought he became a 76 year for a second. Like, what the hell? Anyway, here. So, Brownie is. Where is he? For a loan. So, Brownie is here. 60 rate, 18 years old. But yeah, so hopefully these guys will do well if they do get loaned out. And they come back as a higher rating, which will most likely make me want to keep them. But also, we need to start a scouting thing as well, which I'll start after the transfer window has ended as I need to see how much money we have left for that I have to leave enough for them but um for the time being I'm gonna leave it at that and yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like subscribe and um peace